it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2021 Explorer ST in infinite blue with black seats, seating for six, four doors, and a hatch with a three liter V6 engine paired with an automatic transmission, and it's an all wheel drive. It also has a twin panel moonroof, trailer tow hitch, as well as reverse camera and navigation, many more features. If you'd like to take this vehicle out on a test drive, you can book it online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a three liter six cylinder engine here with an automatic transmission and it's an all wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. Speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows, and mirrors, and memory for three drivers. The driver's seat is powered with lumbar with multi contour seating. That's the button you're seeing in the center there, which means massage seats. All weather mats on the floor in the Ford Performance, and you also have your lift gate release, lighting controls, power, tilt, and telescoping steering wheel. And then on the face of the steering wheel, you have your lane keeping, cruise control, volume, menu, and hands-free dialing. You also have paddle shifters, one on the left and the other one on the right. We're gonna push the engine start stop button, foots on the brake, keys in the pocket, and on your dash, any important messages, the odometer reading, as well as your menu. So you've got select screens, audio, navigation, phone, and these all have sub menus, and you've also got setting and display setup. In the center, we've got the ST Ford Performance screen coming up here, it's the LCD screen, and it's gonna give us lots of information in here. We've got the dark mode. Your um, audio is AM, FM. You can go into sources as well as Sirius XM and Bluetooth. When we go home, we're gonna see all the different options. Let's go into navigation. Your map will come up, and then you can choose your destination. I'm just gonna go in there. So we're going to get out of there, there we go, and then there's the map. We can go into our settings and choose, for instance, the display. So we can change this screen for the brightness and make it daytime as well. And there you go, it brightens up the screen for us. And then when we put the vehicle in reverse, we're going to see our backup camera view. So this is showing us where we are in space and the green, yellow, red is just how close other objects and vehicles are to us. As well, there's your center line and your bumper. Let's put us back into park, volume and tuner, and we have the camera. Now this is not in gear, this is just simply pushing the camera, and this will show us what's ahead of us before we go anywhere. Parking sensors, your hazard lights, and then you have your dual climate control, and your fans in the center here, and so you're seeing the digital readout. Heated and cooled seats for driver and passenger, heated steering wheel. You have your front and rear defrost, AC and max AC. You can press this, this opens up. You've got a USB-C and USB, as well as a 12 volt and a place to put items. You can close this back up. There's your dial shifter, electronic parking brake, and auto hold. So if you're on an incline or you're towing and this vehicle has a trailer tow hitch, you can press that and that will keep you in place. A couple of cup holders and you've got the ambient lighting. That's what those rings are. And the auto stop start for less idle time, your park assist, traction control, hill descent and drive mode. And this will appear on the dash. So as we dial through, you can see the different options. So there's normal, eco, sport and tow haul. And the icons do change. I'm just going through it quickly here. And then we go the other way, which is slippery trail and deep snow sand. So as the road conditions and the weather conditions change, you can adapt, get more or less traction as needed. And you also have here a wireless charging pad. You can open this up. There's a nice little bin, lots of room down below. Pop that back in. Off to the side is your glove compartment. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, your lighting controls are located here, sunglass holder, universal garage door opener, and you also have a power moonroof, which is a twin panel, so the back is fixed, the front stops at this point, and then you have a screen that will go back um, or forwards in any position that you wish, so it opens it up quite nicely and gives you some nice fresh air. One inch wheels, body colored door handle, keyless entry keypad, driver's side, capless, easy fuel gas filler. There's a spoiler and a windshield wiper in the rear and just below the Explorer badge is where you've got your backup camera. You also have backup sensors on your bumper, four and seven pin connector and a trailer hitch. When you're ready to open up that lift gate, all you have to do is double click your fob. It'll power it open for you 
And even though you've got this third row, you still got lots of room. There's power controls for your seats, a light and 12 volt. You've got hooks and tabs to be able to tether things. Nice all weather mat on the bottom there. And then when you're ready to close it all up, you can simply push the button and it'll close it up for you. And then you can just lock it up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. And on your fob, you have remote start. Your speaker in the door as well as power windows. And you also have this little tab that pulls up, gives you a screen if you want to block out the light. Grab handle in the body. And there's seating for two with the captain's chairs that are here. And there's a couple of different ways to move these out of the way. So you can actually press this and it'll come out of the way. You can also pull the lever at the base and this just folds it flat and you've got the ability to go into the back where there's seating for two in a 50-50 split. There's also anchors on the back of the seat to be able to tether baby seats and then just give it a push back into the upright position and you can bring down the armrest there. In the center is a little console with a couple of cup holders, all weather mats on the floor, slim pockets on the back of the front seat. You've got your climate control and you also have your USB-C, USB outlets, plus a 110, a twin panel moonroof, as well as hooks and lighting off on the other side. Roof rails, privacy glass in the back windows, adjustable side view mirrors, halogen headlights, fog lights, front camera, and many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you and we love to hear your comments.